Another important safety consideration is the deck rails, which are being made from 2x4 material. The top piece will be positioned horizontally, while the bottom piece will sit vertically with a slight bevel cut at the top to shed water. Each of the spindles is cut with the same angle, so when they're nailed in place, they won't twist. After the top rail is nailed, the whole unit can be put right in place between the post before a piece of the five-quarter material is attached to cap the whole thing off. Our stairs and handrails took just about as much time to build as this large deck, but they're such an important part of any deck, making sure the stairs are nice and safe and handrails are sturdy and that they comply with your local building codes. Now, your building codes will tell you just how high the handrail needs to be and exactly how much space you can tolerate between the spindles themselves. That's very important when you have small children or pets that will be using the deck. And another and really important element when you talk about children having the little kitty blocks under it, what we call because they love to stand on the bottom handrails and this will protect that from bowing away also will keep it a little more rigid because wood has a tendency to warp a little bit this will help to keep the handrail itself nice and straight now there's a lot of ways to accessorize handrails that really can make a difference on your overall deck one building little pediments like this and then putting the uh, copper caps on it makes a big difference. You might consider lighting. I've even seen rope lighting used under the handrail itself that kind of gives a nice glow around the perimeter of the deck. That's not a bad idea.